Yo, 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 what is going on, guys? Hope everyone's having a fantastic day today or trying to have a fantastic day right now. So a couple things I definitely want to go over, and obviously this is this whole video is going to be about Garner Minshew, Jalen Hurts, the injury. I want to go over some of the things and why the Eagles have the upper hand in having Garner Minshew as the quarterback this week. Let's get straight into it. What is going on, guys? Hope everyone's having a fantastic day today. So um, I want to talk about the Jalen Hurts injury and talk about Garner Minshew a little bit and kind of go through the whole roller coaster of what's going on because now I fully understand what is going on and my opinion on what it means going forward, which probably will make a little bit more sense since I kind of want to find out the truth from some of the beat writers, the guys that have, have the inside sources of what the hell is going on. Um, with everything. Now, Jalen Hurts obviously got hurt at the end of that third quarter. I watched the whole entire game again, a condensed version of it the other day. Um, he was hurt at the end of the third quarter. It was actually after the Devontae Smith, that big catch that he had, and then he still threw for over 100 yards. Um, as much as you see these guys being recorded on national television, um, or at least on television in general, even after some of these throws that he did made, the one that A.J. Brown, a few short ones, Ones. He didn't look like he was in that much pain, but obviously adrenaline is running through you in these games and probably didn't affect him that much. I mean, even when he was hit, I mean, I wish I could take a clip from my stream because even before that hit, he was getting hit so much and he was getting tangled up so much. Um, I said to myself, this guy is taking unnecessary hits. This was avoidable. No doubt. It, it really has nothing to do with like, and much we can talk about why they didn't run with Miles Sanders and all this stuff, like, it was easily avoidable. And I was kind of just waiting for it. And when he went down, I was like, well, no wonder. When I heard about the injury the next day after the x-rays, no wonder. You know, Miles Sanders, 11, 11 rushes for 42 yards. I mean, you barely did a damn thing. They didn't run with Miles Sanders until the second quarter with 628 left. I think he only had one carry in the third quarter. I mean, Miles Sanders wasn't even used for crucial third downs. They had Kenneth Gainwell in there. And, and, it, and they don't even use Boston Scott at this point. Just for kick returns, he's barely, I think he had one handoff. I think one, as I saw in the game. You know what I mean? So, it. This injury, it's just like it's avoidable and, and you know, like I'm not surprised. I'm not surprised on the outcome. You know what I mean? So Jalen Hurts had the x-rays and so far it looks and this is look, you look at the Dallas Goddard shoulder injury and Jalen Hurts totally separate, totally different. OK, Dallas Goddard actually broke a bone in his shoulder. So. It's a huge difference. Now, going down the road, now with a big game this week where the Eagles have to win one of these three games, since Dallas lost, it really opened up a wide variety of things that could happen. Okay, I would love to walk into AT&T AT &T Stadium and beat the Cowboys with a backup quarterback, but here's the thing, guys. The Eagles have the upper hand with Jalen Hurts not playing because they don't have any tape on Gardner Minshew. As much as Mike McCarthy sat there the other day and said, we're going to get prepared for both quarterbacks, they're going to try to get prepared for Gardner Minshew. They only have tape on last year. That's really it. Last year's offense to this year's offense, couple personnel that are different, but a totally different offense, and the production quality is 95% higher than it ever has been, okay? Devontae Smith is literally 90, 99 yards, 98 yards away from getting 1,000 with 2,000-yard receivers and a 1,000-yard running back, okay? Um, you know what I mean? So... Gardner Minshew is going to have the upper hand in this game, okay? This guy is full of piss and vinegar. This guy is electrifying. This guy always has high energy. This guy, even for the Jets last year when the Jets weren't prepared to face Gardner Minshew when Jalen Hurts sat out for that one game, and look what he did, okay? Obviously, this is going to be more of a pocket-passing offense, and you're going to have to run the ball at Miles Sanders this week. I, I don't want to hear it. You're going to have to, okay? Minshew could run, <laughs> but um, he's not that good of a runner, okay? I think he's faster than... I think he's got good athleticism than a lot of quarterbacks out there, but Minshew is not Jalen Hurts when it comes to that okay so 
This is going to be a completely different offense this week. Completely different. And that's why I think the Eagles have the upper hand in that. I think Gardner Minshew is a serviceful, really good backup quarterback. He's been a starter in the league 2020 with a really bad Jaguars offense. The guy pretty much was like, hey, like I want to be the starting quarterback. And that's when they were going to draft Trevor Lawrence. And Minshew was kind of pissed off at that whole situation. That's when the Eagles traded for him. And that was pretty much it. Okay. Yes, he hasn't played a game since last year. He has no games under his belt this year. Okay. It's not like when De- when the Cowboys lost Dak and Cooper Rush had all these games and then Dak came back in, you know, five weeks later, whatever it was. It's a short week, which really sucks. S- and m- might be might be better for us in a short week. Less time for Dallas to prepare. And what they're preparing off of for to prepare for Garner Minshew, I have no idea. So Nick. And Shane Steichen can get some some different things rolling in this game. I think the Eagles match up well. Um, I think with the Cowboys defense, and obviously you know, have a couple injuries there. You know, Kelvin Joseph got got you know pretty much benched in that game after you know three big receptions, and uh, you know there's there's some injuries at the linebacker position right now, and you know Jonathan Hankins is out, so there, there's a lot of stuff going on. You know, we're starting to get a lot of reinforcements back, which is good. Um, so, the Eagles win this week. You win the NFC East. You win that. You win the uh, home field advantage. You get the first seed. Okay, um, that that's really going to help. If you could get this done this week, it's great. If you can't, you're going to rely on those other two games. They just have to win one of these three games, which makes this game this week. Yeah, it's very important. But the other, but the other end of the stick is that. Since the Cowboys did lose, we don't have to hone in on this game. I don't think for the, to the public it's a very important game either because now the Eagles are have a three game lead, a three game lead because if the Cowboys won, this game would be so sorely on the division. But now it's not. Okay, so um, I'm expecting a a, a a good game, and I'm expecting. Um, to see what happens with Gardner Minshew and how they're going to use him this week. I mean, I kind of already have an idea. It's going to be totally different. You know, it's going to be a different offense. There's no doubt about it. This team is going to rally around Gardner Minshew. This man just lost his college coach last week and how emotional he was. When it comes to proving himself, Gardner Minshew is perfect for it. Um, Not saying he deserves a starting job in the league, but, you know, this guy gives you a 200% if he actually gets to be a starter in a game. And I know, and I'm not worried about it, we're going to get 200% mentality and work ethic when it comes to Garner Minshew going into this game this week. Because to be honest, guys, I really don't want to lose this game this week. And this is really just for bragging rights this week, and the Eagles just have more. Um, Since both teams are in the playoffs, they both clinched a playoff berth. The Giants helped the Cowboys uh, the other day, uh, a couple days ago. And, you know, the Eagles really need to lock up this first seed because I'll feel more comfortable locking up this first seed, which is another week for the Eagles to get prepared and get some guys back. I mean, you have injuries still out there. Reed Blankenship, Chauncey Gardner-Johnson should be making it eligible to return for the Saints game. Robert Quinn eligible to return the last game against the Giants. So, as I'm thinking in my head, as I have been all day, um... If they win Saturday with Garner Minshew, okay, defense steps up, you know, has another good game, and this offense is rocking and rolling, and the Cowboys are going to have no idea how to defend it, and because they don't have enough, you know, whatever the case may be with it, if, if it goes that way, and the Eagles win, okay, then I don't expect Jalen Hurst to even come back for the Giants game or even play a series. I expect they're just going to rest him for weeks. They're going to rest him as much as possible. If this was a playoff game this Saturday, the Eagles would play him. There's no doubt. If this was a playoff game Saturday, Hurts would play. They would not keep Hurts out of this game. There's no doubt about it. And I think he could play. The Eagles know they have time on their side. Okay, The Eagles have time on their side as of right now. So they're going to take advantage of this time. And they're going to let Jalen Hurts rehab and rest up. This is his throwing shoulder. Now, people were asking, which I heard from John McMullen as well, people were asking, well, is this going to mess up his mechanics? It is not. It is perfectly fine. It is not going to mess up his mechanics. The only thing 
we need to worry about when we lock, or at least for the playoffs in general. Okay, the only thing we need to wor- really worry about is the rust. Because you're not playing for weeks, that's just what happens. He's going to rehab for a little bit, and then he'll lightly throw, and then he'll lightly run around. And You know what I mean? It's going to be a process. This isn't a serious injury. Like I said, if they had a playoff game Saturday, he would be in that game. He played very tough. And usually on national television, when you see a quarterback have an injury and he's throwing these these balls around, and especially the ones he threw after that injury, which were really amazing, they usually show the quarterback and see he wasn't bending down. He was holding his shoulder. I mean, he did none of that. And they, he was still doing quarterback sneaks, and he was still doing all of this. So the pain is probably there, but he can fight through it, okay? And it's probably not as bad as everyone expects it to be, okay? Um, I didn't expect him. I, I really didn't expect him to be out a couple weeks after that game. I really wasn't even thinking about it. All I said was he took a lot of unnecessary hits, and that was pretty much it. But... With Gardner Minshew, it is a big, big advantage. No tape. And Gardner Minshew is electrifying as he is. Philadelphia has embraced him. Um, and he's he's on a contract year too, man. Like he had played one game last year. He's got a game now that's very important. Okay, takes over. And Minshew can lead a group of guys. He knows how to do that. And he can throw the ball very well. He can. Okay. Is this going to be enough time on a short week? Do we have the upper hand in this or do we not? But I think that we do, okay? Um, he practices every day with the team. So it's not like he's not, they just signed him today and he was sitting home for weeks. Like, he's been on the team. He's been on the practice squad. He's been practicing. So Gardner Minshew will get his shot to really showcase himself in a really important game for the Eagles especially because they win this game Saturday. Like I said, they win the division and they get that first seed, and then the then I don't care what happens after that. The Saints game will figure it out, whatever they do, okay? They could win that Saints game with Gardner Minshew. They don't need Jalen Hurst to come back, even though he's supposed to be out for two weeks, so he might miss those two games most likely this week and next week. The only thing I have to worry about with Jalen Hurts is just rust when he comes back. Got to get into the groove of things. You know, this isn't a leg injury. This is just a shoulder. It's a throwing shoulder, but it's not serious whatsoever. This could have been a lot worse, okay? This could have been a lot worse, but it's not. Thank God he didn't break a bone because that would have, whew, he would have been out for five, five weeks, probably five, six weeks. Who knows, you know, where he would have to rehab for a, a while and then really not get much playing time, not much practice time with the team right before a playoff game, a very important playoff game. The Eagles are in the playoffs, you know, so the Eagles need this. They need the, these games to go through Philadelphia and the link. Uh, they need this to happen. So that's all I really got to say about it. Minshew is a very emotional, high passionate, high motored QB that's, Everyone's going to this game thinking, all oh, the Eagles are done. The Eagles are going to lose this game this week. The Cowboys are already 1.5 favorites. I mean, it is it is what it is. Just imagine if the Eagles go, into, go to the Cowboys and beat them with a backup quarterback. Just imagine what that would do and how that would feel. Uh, it would feel great. I think Minshew has a very, I say, 85 to 88% chance Minshew's going to win this game Saturday. I really do. I'm not just saying that. I'm not just trying to hype him up. I know what Minshew is and what he could do for this team and, and how serviceable he is. He's not He's not a Mike Glennon. He's not uh, He's not some backup guy that just sits as a backup, practices. Like, you, know, you know, like it's, it's not a guy off the street. You know what I mean? This guy has started games in this league. The guy could throw the football, okay? I expect the run game with Miles Sanders since you barely ran him last week and got our quarterback almost killed. I expect Miles Sanders to get a lot of juice this week, okay? Uh, I know they're, they're, I don't know if the plan was conserving him, but what they did last week was unavoidable, and it was unnecessary, and it really pissed me off. So that's why I think that Gardner Minshew, it, it, it's, it's just – it's not going to be some quiet quarterback that's just going to start. And, uh, like, these guys are going to be hand-in-hand. Hand, get they're, He's going to be prepared. They're going to rally around this guy, and we're going to go get this done this week. And if we don't get it done, then we have to rely on two other games, at least one of the two games that are left. So that's going to be the thing. But the amount of weapons that Garner Minshew has around him, 
healthy, Dallas Goddard coming back, it's a huge advantage as of right now. So I really do appreciate everybody watching the video. If you guys made it this far, definitely subscribe if you guys have it. We'll have more news and updates on the whole situation, especially everything about Jalen Hurts going on. Um, this is it, man. Christmas Eve is the game we, we want to put. We want to get that first seed, win the division, get it done so it's done. Um, and that's it. So, all right. Anything you guys want to just comment in the comment section below. How do you feel about Minshew starting? I feel really good, guys. I feel really, really good about this because I know what type of player Minshew is when he embraces and when he gets into his game. I, I just, he he's just very... Very serviceable, very, and with better weapons. You look at him last year with less weapons and not really a great offense playing. <laughs> we weren't really playing that well last year, but with more weapons and him getting more into the playbook this week, Garner Minshew might surprise a lot of people if no one really believed in him. If no one believed in him in the first place, you better believe it. He will play well, and I hope he does. I feel like, in my own opinion, he will play beyond very, very well, and we're going to strike an arrow through the heart of Texas on Saturday. So you guys enjoy your day and I'll see you guys on the next one. Shakes what up, follow side. Peace out guys. Peace.